I'm coming to you from a new construction house our company's building with Schifflet Group Architects, and I thought this was a good stage to talk to you about the importance of a vapor barrier underneath your concrete slab. So if you look here, this vapor barrier, this is this yellow plastic which is gonna be underneath our concrete. We're actually gonna pour our concrete directly on top of this. And look at this point right now. We're, we're kind of mid-morning, and we've got a bunch of dew or condensation that's formed underneath this. You can see all that water underneath my finger here. The importance of this is it's preventing that water from coming up to our concrete and actually making contact with it. Remember, concrete is a very porous material. If it's in contact with water or moisture, it's gonna soak that moisture up, and then it's gonna spread out throughout the entire house. And this ultimately leads to higher humidity issues, oftentimes underneath concrete areas where there's moisture, and especially it can hurt your finishes. If we have a hardened floor on top here, we don't want that water in that concrete slab messing with our hardwoods. So this vapor barrier, this is 15 mil. This is a very thick version made by Stego Wrap. When we roll it out, it's gonna roll into our concrete beams as well. We're gonna tape the seams with this really durable Stego tape. That's that red tape you're seeing here. And then any penetrations like these pipes you see here, this is a shower and a toilet flange. When those poke through, we're gonna use uh, another option besides the tape is their Stego Mastic. That's gonna spread out like a, a kind of like a thinned caulk and also prevent that moisture from coming up at those locations. Hey guys, I, I hope this tip was helpful. If you want more information, visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.